let's talk a little more about pan lubing and some of this, some useful traits of it. Let's say you have some bullets like these hollow points I cast, and where you live in the summertime it gets extremely hot. And these things have been sitting out there for maybe a year or more. Then you go to load them, and let's say the lubricant is melted off. Well, there's no reason to put them through the lubricizer again. Just go ahead and pan lube them, then you have lubricated bullets all over again. You don't have to worry about going through setting it up, going through the whole process of cranking down on the plunger to squeeze lubricant through here. Also, the nice thing is too, if you have, say, a bullet mold like this 200 grain lead bullet here, well, when it's sized, it's sized to 309, but when it drops out of the mold, it usually measures about 313. Now, for those of you who are shooting like the 7.62 by 54, the 303 British, 7.65 Argentine, um, those are all 311 inch diameter bullets. And this will shoot great as dropped out of the mold. You won't be able to put a gas check on it. And if you keep it below, 1700 feet a second, you shouldn't have any problems with letting it all. Now the other reason why I pan lube is I couldn't find a sizing die to cut it to 366 or 365. It was all 364 or uh, 363. Now I load a thing called a squib load. And what a squib load is, is a, um, pistol bullet basically, loaded into a rifle cartridge. And in this case, this is a 9.3 by 62 Mauser. And the load I have in here is that 95 grain lead bullet with 5.2 grains of unique, with 2 grains of polyfill to keep the charge all the way down to the bottom. It'll launch this out of probably around, I don't know, eight, nine hundred feet a second. It's fun for just planking. It won't fire form the case whatsoever, but it'll give you some time behind the trigger without going through the the cost and the punishment of a full recoil load of say this 286 Barnes X bullet, which is an expensive bullet and with uh, 56 grains of 4064, it, it comes out there a pretty good clip. And the gun kind of lets you know about that. With the same bullet being loaded in the 9 by 18 my 9 by 18 measures 365 exactly. And so the sizing die itself would have done me absolutely no good whatsoever. It would have made him, the bullets too small, which would cause gas cutting and a bunch of letting. Okay, if you look at the picture in front of you, the one on the left is a loaded 9x18 bullet. The one in the center is a pan lube 9x18 slug. And the one to the right is a Lyman hollow point that was put through the lubricizer. Now there's a lot of gunk on the outside of the 9x18 the bullet, but once it's seated, you're going to wipe that off anyway. And a little extra lube really doesn't hurt. It's just going to make it just a tiny bit smokier, which is not that much of a problem unless you really are adverse to the smoke. But if we flip it over, you will see there's hardly any residual bullet lube on the bottom or the base of the bullet. And it's a decently clean little bullet. Now the nice thing about this is you don't need a bunch of fancy equipment other than your casting equipment to make this stuff. You don't need a lubricizer to achieve um, pan lubing. And also with that bullet on the right, if that bullet got way too hot in the summertime and the lubricant melted off of it, you can go ahead and pan lube it again without having to put it through the lubricizer. Okay, here's my cookie cutter. All it is is a 35 Remington with the base of it cut off and you're just going to push down with the neck 
and the bolts will force their way up. Make sure it's a fired and as fired case that you use. If you use a size case, you'll never get that thing to fit over the bullet. Especially if you're trying to size a 9mm or a 357. See the 35 Remington or any 35 caliber case like that, if it's fired, will accommodate the 9mm or the 35 calibers. And if you have a 44 Magnum, just use a fired case from your 44 and cut the base off. Make sure you cut it above the web of the case before it gets too thick, especially on a straight wall case. You want to cut about a third of the bullet off. You'll be ready to go.